So at the end of the previous tutorial, we had our basic fuselage for our X-Wing already done. You can see here we got our reference images and our perspective view there. So we're going to start on the wing now by creating a new plane object. And then we'll drag that plane into position, lining it up using our reference views. And then we'll tab into edit mode and begin selecting edges and dragging the edges around to begin to shape it to the profile of our wing. So I'm going to start at the left hand side there, the narrowest part, and I'll work my way to the right. I'm just basically selecting edges and dragging them and moving them around until my plane is shaped to the same shape as the wing in our reference image. So now we've got the shape of our wing, we want to add some depth to this, um, some thickness to it. At the moment it's just a flat plane, so we'll add a modifier and that will be the solidify modifier. And then once we've added the solidify modifier, you can adjust the thickness parameter to get the thickness that you desire. Again, you can use your reference image in the top right viewport, the front image, and that gives us an idea how thick we are making our wing. Let's check it out in the perspective and adjust the thickness until it looks about right. So now we've got the thickness to our wing, the next thing we want to do is rotate it because this is an X-wing, so it needs to be rotated upwards. So R and Y, and that will rotate it on the Y axis. And uh, we just rotate it until it's parallel there with our upper wing and then we'll drag it into position. Once you've done that you'll find there may be some small adjustments that still need doing a little bit. So we make the fine adjustments to get the angle correct. And then I'm going to drag it inwards just so that it's disappearing inside the body of the fuselage to make our, uh, our join nice and neat. So if we take a look at our reference image, you'll see there's a raised area there which acts as the kind of engine mount. So we need to create that on our wing before we uh, mirror it. So we're just going to do that in the same way that we've done our, our other modeling. Uh, we'll add in some loop cuts. We align it using our various reference images. Once we've aligned it, then it's just a matter of selecting the faces hitting E to extrude those out and when we extrude it out then uh, we can shape it to the shape of the reference image so we're going to be using our front reference image that's the upper right one again to shape this once we've extruded it to the shape of the engine mount there you can see now we're just dragging the edges and we drag those to follow the profile that we can see in the right hand uh, upper right hand um, image there.
So now our basic wing is done, we want to mirror it, so we'll select the mirror modifier and we need to select the object to mirror around to be the cube so that it mirrors correctly and we're going to mirror on the um, X and the Y axis so that will mirror top and mirror either side. You'll see that it doesn't quite align up, there's supposed to be a gap between the wings but we'll fix that later on. So for now we'll just leave it as it is. So now we'll start to create the engines, we add in a cylinder and the cylinder needs to then be rotated 90 degrees and then we'll scale it and maneuver it into position so that it is sitting over the top of the uh, engines in our reference image and then it's going to be exactly the same procedure again we're going to be selecting edge loops and faces and extruding and scaling just until we have followed the profile of our reference image. So once we shape the engines, we then are gonna apply the mirror modifier, the same as we did for the wings. So we mirror it around our fuselage and on the X and Y axis and then we'll just make the fine adjustments so that our engine sits properly on the engine mount and isn't showing through onto the other side of the wing. Now you can see from our reference image there we need to add some details to our engine. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, it's just going to be extruding the faces. So we'll select the front face. Um, we'll extrude it and scale it. So that will give us a lip and then we extrude it inwards. Then we'll extrude and scale again to make a very small or a, you know, a relatively small um, circle in the middle that can then be extruded out, which will be our kind of propeller shaft, if you like. So again we extrude that out and then we just adjust its length so it's the protruding the correct distance that we desire. And then we're going to select one of those inner um, rectangles and it will just be a simple matter of extruding that. When we extrude that across to the opposite side it will go through the middle of our prop shaft and then we're going to go into vertice mode and we'll join or merge together the vertexes so that just creates one solid object. So now we'll create another cylinder and this will form the exhaust part of our uh, engines. So again, create a cylinder, rotate 90 degrees, scale it, and it's going to be exactly the same procedure. Again, we will just be extruding edges and faces and scaling them to follow the profile of our reference image. So now the exhaust has been created, we add the mirror modifier again to mirror on the X and Y axis around the cube and that will mirror that and it, um, on both sides and upper and lower. Now you can begin to see that our X wing is really beginning to take shape now. We've got our engines in place, we've got the wings, we've got the fuselage and it's really starting to look quite realistic already. So now the final thing to do on our wing tips is going to be that um, the wing tip uh, missiles or laser 
done. And it's done in exactly the same way as we did everything before. Again, we just start with the cylinder and extrude it out following the profile of our reference image. So now we've got our uh, wingtips done, we've got the engines done, we've got our fuselage done, and the main wings. So pretty much there is our main structure for our um, X-wing. Now it's just going to be a matter of going in and adding the finer details, and um, then we'll start on the texturing after that.